So in this video, we will be taking a look at the function set builder sukexa to hook uh, the events and execute our shellcode whenever that event occurs. So hooking means uh, it's kind of like monitoring or redirecting the actual uh, code to the our uh, our desired uh, function. So this hooking is used to monitor the functions, and we can also redirect the uh, actual code to the our malicious function. So we can uh, set the Windows hook uh, using this function, and there are certain types of uh, hooks available. Uh, there are mouse events and keyboard events, etc. So we'll be using WH keyboard to monitor the keyboard events, and whenever there is a keyboard event, we'll be executing a function that uh, normally uh, you can execute the reversal. For now, we'll be just uh, popping the message box. So first, we need to uh, the second parameter is the function address, and third parameter is the DLL handle, and the last one is the thread ID. Uh, in the thread ID, we need to specify which thread uh, we need to monitor. If you give zero, all the uh, new threads gonna uh, execute our function whenever there is an event. So let's first create a DLL that simply pops up the message box. So here, let me create a function called popup. So I'm using uh, the C sharp forms. So system dot windows. We have this message box dot show. So we can just say testing one two three. So whenever in my main code I do the pop up, I should get the message box. And we can see the message box. Now this is uh, generated in the exe format. Uh, we need to be in the format of DLL. So for that we need to uh, manage add the NuGet package. I have already installed this one that is DLL export. So this converts a function uh, into a DLL exported function. So we can import the DLL and use that function. All we need to say is DLL export of the name pop up so we need to change the type to uh, class library so this will generate the data build solution and we can see message box dot data so we can go and test this one Uh, let's execute the function pop-up and here we can see the message box so let's copy this one copy the path and let's go and so I have already uh, written the signature for this uh, so it's nothing fancy integer and two int pointers and again uh, uint 32 So, uh, so this is the path. So let's. Uh, so I am using the load library to load the DLL into the uh, memory, and we are going to find the address of the function popup. So we can use get proc address. So the first one is DLL handle, and second one is the function name that is popup. and we will get the function address if dealer handle not is equals to 0 
and if we got any function address then we can say if function address not is equals to into pointer dot zero then the function is loaded in our uh, process so let's actually run this one i have uh, declared a derivative here so we can just say marshall dot get derivative for function pointer and the pointer is the function address the type of derivative so the de derivative name is also pop up so so we can say p dot dynamic invoke now at this point we should be uh, we should be getting the message box if uh, everything goes well and here you can see the message box has been popped so that means uh, the function address we can print out the function address as well and we can see the function address so now we have successfully uh, uh, loaded that dll and found that uh, function address now we need to call this set windows hook x a and the first parameter is the integer the type of the hook we want to uh, monitor so that is the keyboard one so i can pass to and second one is the function address and the third one is dll handle and the last one is thread id so if i pass 0 then the uh, new recreated threads will execute this function uh to unhook this we can use unhook windows hook x in the meanwhile what we need to do is since these are the keyboard events uh, our keyboard won't uh, give the input to this program so we can do uh, threaded or sweep so we can say 6 uh, seconds so after hooking for the keyboard events we are sweeping for 6 seconds so in this 6 seconds if there is any uh, uh, keyboard press then our function gets executed so let's start this one and now i am going to press so here you can see i have pressed the keyboard and here we can see the message box have been popped and whenever the program has been exited this memory was uh, was destroyed and so thus uh we don't uh, those passes also exited now let's so in this 15 seconds i am going to open notepad already so now i can type uh, normal yes now let's start hooking and whenever there is a key press even in the notepad now this uh, process will try to load the uh, function from this dll and it's gonna execute so i am pressing and now we can see our main uh, process has been exited but still you can see uh, these are not destroyed because these are uh, loaded by this process so that's all for this uh, video uh, hooking uh, events using set windows hook x you can uh, also create the dll any uh, you can also generate the dll using 
MS of Venom and you can point that uh, function address here. 